fire to beat mommy's new number one for hip hop R&B in the Breakfast Club. No doubt. Special guest in the building. Yes. Marlon Wayne's. What's good, brother? I'm good, man. How you doing? I was good. fine until I got in this hot ass place. <laughs> and you keep your hoodie on. This is, you, you know, you ain't gonna take a black band out of hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not how we do. But I walked in here and it. It's Jamaica. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is an island. You walk in here and I just started talking like this. Everybody turned down color. Everybody turned black. Even a white man right there. <laughs> Uh, what, y'all, what they got this on? Ne- like y- <laughs> y'all thermometer say cold. Wait, white people cold. Right. Hispanics <laughs> ninety eight degrees. One ten. Put it on Negro. Yeah, <laughs> we are Negro. Hey, turn that turn that dub up to Negro, please. <laughs> Thank you. It's crazy hot. You know what I mean? Naked by the end of this game? (laughs) (laughs) What kind of perverted plan you got? Turn the heat up, Monica. (laughs) We're going to get him naked. I've seen that movie. This is no no plan, man. This is no plan. How are you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm alive. I'm happy. I I don't need much. I'm glad Christmas is over. Oh, yeah. Did you spend a lot of money? Too much. These begging-ass people. I'm (laughs) I'm your witness next year. You know what fascinates me with with you and a, and a few other people? Why I celebrate Christmas in no. a damn place with <laughs> knowing how many Negroes I got in my family. I'm going to start doing this. Sorry, kids. They're not going to believe I'm gonna be you. I'm like, Santa didn't come? Man, Santa foul. Santa foul. He a foul dude. That's why I, that's why I never believed him. <laughs> They're not going to buy that now. No, but I've been fascinated by the amount of work that you do. Like it's ridiculous. I do TV that just, shows, just, movies. I do that just to buy Christmas. Comedy <laughs> shows, yeah, writing, yeah. producing, yeah. directing. I mean, I don't direct as much, but I, I do. I, I I grind, brother. You I, do. Every show you do, you get better. Every every movie you do, you get better. Every 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 TV show you do, you get better. It's all stepping stones to your milestones. So for me, I just want to. I, I, I just want to get better, so I, I don't know where that takes me or where it winds up. I just know whenever whatever opportunities is coming my way that I'm prepared for it, and that next level of success is around the corner for me. I just gotta keep on digging. That's so dope. I mean, the the last time you were here, you were promoting um, the TV show that you had. Oh, you were talking about the one they canceled? No, yeah, so good, no, you are talking about the one they canceled. Yeah. 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 I ain't crying, you know. Sad about it. I, I, I my, enjoyed my heart, the show. My heart hurt a little. <laughs> they said, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You're, you're canceled, Negro. What? <laughs> what? On, Chris, on Christmas Eve? You could have told me this at Thanksgiving. They did not tell you that at you Christmas didn't, You couldn't have told me this at Thanksgiving? You couldn't have told me this on Halloween? <laughs> wow. Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. But that happens. Eve. It happens to anybody. So nah, that's not that, a... I, I, it's, I'm blessed to have had the experience, to have had the journey. I know I put down 20 hilarious episodes. And for me, it's, it's never about, um, I think, I, I look at how I sweat in every frame of that show because mm-hmm. I worked so hard to make the audience laugh. And we filmed it from a live studio audience. Yeah. People was like, why you got that canned laughter so loud? No. That's the type of laughs that we were getting from a live studio audience. Right, so right. Um, it, it, it's cool. It's a, a, I did a great 20 shows. Whenever y'all go want to go to Netflix and laugh, you can no, do that. No, I've seen it. Um, I've seen but it. But nobody knew it was on NBC. Everybody's like, man, your Netflix show. I was like, it's on NBC. <laughs> it is. I was like, I had one poster in the whole damn world. I and know. No, I know that was tough. It was funny. It had one poster, right? <laughs> <laughs> I got the marketing sheet. And... It said one poster. I was like, "Where is that? Like <coughs> in L.A.?" They said, "No, in the world." I said, "Okay." And then I drove by the poster because it was in L.A. Also, I said, and it was like one of those digital like mm-hmm. posters. And I swear, and they had like some geo tagging on me. When I got there, it said Marlin. <laughs> right? As soon as I pulled off, a white show came on. I was like, "What? That's a hologram." <laughs> 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 but you know, I'm 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 very happy, man. I I, I made a lot of good friends. Um, my cast will always be my family, yeah. and I look at it as you know, they don't cancel your show. God cancels your show. God cancels whatever journey that you're. He ends every journey that because it's time for you to start a new one. And I feel like the next show I'm gonna do is gonna be special. 
And I thought mine was special, but I think this one, you know, a, a nice dope single camera. And uh, and then I got the Netflix movie and I'm, I'm doing yes. movies now. So, and then my standup is starting to, you know, kick hard. So I'm looking to tour. So, I, you know, I listen to the universe with the whispers and God's like, yeah, I don't do TV right now. You, right, there, right. There, there's better for you. So. No, I agree, but I, I personally enjoyed the show, and I would encourage people to go to Netflix. I think the whole Netflix thing came because they were trying to promote. I remember it perfectly. They were trying to promote the first season, yeah, through Netflix, yeah. And so it's hard to go out and do a double promotion because people get confused. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like, yeah, go check it out. The first I, season I, on Netflix, but then check it out. I didn't understand any of the programming. Right. I, I think I felt like the whoever programmed was sitting there going, you know what we should do? Yo, we should. You know what we should do? We should. We should put, we should put the show on a black show on in the summertime with no black people at home. Yo, that would be like, what do you, what do you think about that, Bob? Oh. That's a great idea. I think what we should do then is we should put back to back for five weeks with one poster in the whole United States. What do you what do you think of that, Jim? <laughs> that works. That works. And then put it on Netflix and NBC at the same time. Oh my gosh, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you on that, but I wanted to make a highlight of that because No, but here's the thing. I, I don't I I can only control yeah. what I can control. Exactly. I control yo, is the show funny? Yeah. I control when you turn it on, you go, yo, I'm laughing for twenty something minutes right. every episode and I feel something. And these are good shows. That's all I can control. Yeah. That's what me and the cast controls. That's what us and the writers control. Um, all and you know whoever controls that part. That's yeah, what, it, that's, it is, the, that's their thing. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful show. I, I watched. It. Thank you, brother. Let's, we're gonna go live right now. All right. I want to talk about your special on, on Netflix too. Thank I you. saw that as well. Yeah, you watching all my stuff. Well, you know. I respect the grind. You think you Puerto Ricans own beards? You think you Cubans own beards? Brothers grow beards too. But I got like 90 ingrowns in mine. <laughs> hey, somebody stood up for Hip Hop RP in the Breakfast Club. We are 103.5 The Beat. DJ Bulletproof. Thank you so much for holding it down. Mr. Now, Alicio. they call you DJ Bulletproof. Now, is that because the, the window is bulletproof? <laughs> or is it because you've been shot at a few times and you you still live to tell the story? Are you 50 cent bulletproof or are you like the big dude that's just really fast? <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, uh, DJ Bulletproof. <laughs> DJ Quick Legs. Well, well, he needs no introduction. Marlon Wakes in the building. What's, What's good? happening? How you doing? Chilling, my brother, man. Listen, first of all, let's let's talk about your comedy special let's on Netflix. Let's talk about this heat. Can you turn it down? <laughs> we, we we did. We you don't. Can feel you it put in? ice in somebody's <laughs> mouth and let them just <laughs> chew and blow on me? This isn't fair. Got some water? You, oh my we god! We can definitely get you some water. Y'all trying to kill brothers up in here? Nah, nah, nah. We ain't trying to this do is that. Famine. Man. <laughs> Hey, you did a, a comedy special for Netflix, yes. and it did really well. Yeah. Uh, how did that come about? Um, you know, I, I, I've always wanted to do a, 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 a special, you know, growing up, listening to Richard Pryor albums and Eddie Murphy albums and, you know, watching the greats do it. I've always, you know, um, I always thought maybe one day I would, but then I didn't do stand-up. And then um, I, I, I started doing stand-up, and I, st I did it for like seven years, and I was like, yo, I, I feel like... I want to bookmark my progression. So right. I felt like the material was special enough that if I look back at this 30 years from now, would I laugh at this? Would it still right, be right, right. So I, I did it, and the new one I got, um, it's, it's, I'm, I'm working on right now. This, this new set is fire, because it's a lot of different, like I'm trying to figure out what it is, but I know a lot of stuff coming out my mouth is just, it's ridiculous and funny. <laughs> it makes me laugh. I'd be on stage like, that one, that was funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if it makes you laugh, you know it's good. Yeah, it's, it's dark. <laughs> so is that gonna be on Netflix as well? Um, I don't know, I, I haven't, uh, I haven't- Decided. I, I, but I, what I like about Netflix is- They got the bag. 
it's not even about the bag. They got the audience. So if mm. I do a movie, it's seen in uh, 100 and something million homes in 193 countries. Yeah. My movie Naked was seen worldwide. My TV show got more exposure on Netflix than it ever did on NBC. Like I'm. People in Port and Brazil hit me right. up like, oh, yo, te amo, Marlon. I love Marlon's show. Like, right, right. the, the city, they, they love my show out yeah. there. And it wouldn't get there from network TV until it got syndicated. But on Netflix, as soon as it hits the platform, it's over with. You over, you, and people in France, Italy, the Netherlands, I get hit about yeah. my show. And I'm, you know, so, it, you know, uh, that's what I like about it. It's the same thing with, you know, doing doing the stand-up special. You know, now when I tour and I, I can go to Europe, I can go to Australia. So I'm, I'm looking forward to doing, you know, for when it's said and done, I'm going to do 10 of these. Nice. Now listen, you're going to be in town. Unless I die tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, 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 no. special. Don't say that. Don't say that. And I'll give, I'll give Mitchell my material. <laughs> Mitchell, I have all my material. But, hey. You know what's crazy? <laughs> Now listen, you're gonna be here in town in South Florida from yes. now until New Year's Eve. Yes, I'm. I'm gonna be performing at the Improv, uh, the new one, the City brand Place, new one. So Doral. you could be the first one to fart in the seat. Yes. So come. <laughs> I like new places. Me too. But you can be the first one to put your lips on a non-herpy proof glass <laughs> before everybody else but they cold sores on it because you know how right. new year's somebody is gonna somebody gonna have strep throat all them new year's kisses so you could be the first one to put your lips on a new glass i'm happy because i get to be the first comedian to touch the mic yeah so it don't smell like spit yeah <laughs> and sneeze and, and not only that Finally, the improv is back in Miami. Yes, and, and we that, missed it for many yeah, years. Yeah, and I know all the Puerto Ricans and Dominicans missed that laughter. So y'all go out <laughs> and, and bring your Cuban friends. That, oh, they're they, gonna be there in Doral. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, really? yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's Doral, eh? The way you said that, like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, I bring my pateles. It's gonna be Doral out there. Okay, I'm with it. I grew up in a Puerto Rican, Dominican, and Spanish neighborhood. I know. I know. So when they call me Negrito Susi, I know what they mean. <laughs> I know what they mean. You ain't tricking nobody. Man. So uh, I'll be performing there all weekend, um, starting uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, Friday. Two shows tomorrow, two shows uh, Saturday. Saturday, two shows Sunday, one show Sunday, and then two, two show on New Year's Eve. Damn. That's dope. I'm working. Yeah, you are. Oh, wow. I didn't know about all that. <laughs> all right, well. You sure I'm doing this? <laughs> for, more, for more information or to cop those tickets, log on to MiamiImprov.com. That's MiamiImprov.com. Shout out to Justin and the crew. Uh, before we go, yes, I want to ask you about your family. How they doing? They good, man. I just saw um, a lot of them over the holidays. And, nice. Uh, they all good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to every day that they're here and every day that I get to say I love you to them is a, is a great day. I, um, I saw my mom. We all sang nice. Christmas carols with her. We were like, uh, like, we was little, we used to sing right, you know, right. Uh, Christmas carols. And what's funny was my father was Joe Witness, and my mom was like, well, Negro, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> she make us sing them songs so loud, she put us by his door on the first day of the day. <laughs> That's amazing, man. I yeah. want to salute your older brother, man, for, for starting that legacy, the God, man. Yeah, the Godfather, yeah, man. He, for he, sure. He's, the, he's that dude. Always will be, man. He's my hero. Introduced me to this world. Yeah. Um, to Hollywood. Walked me through it and uh, let me learn like a Jedi up underneath him. So, yeah. yeah. Shout out to you because you took baton and you are still running with it, I'm bro. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Movies, directing, comedy, uh, TV shows. I mean, you all over the place it's doing just everything. The Hosting. Just I mean, the beginning. Yes. Just the beginning. My, this this next this next run. Mm-hmm. Nice. Is it? This, well, it's this, a this championship run. Yes. Yeah. It's a pleasure, Marla. We wish you the best. Uh, Thank you, brother. Happy holidays to happy you. Happy holidays to you. Hey, DJ Bulletproof. Keep running, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get a new name. <laughs> you know, some, you know some, some brother called to you, you really bulletproof? Wow! <laughs> he lying. What's that he show? He lying. What's that show with the bulletproof guy? The black bulletproof guy? Mr. Glass? Black Lightning. Luke Cage. Oh, Luke yeah. Cage. That's a better name for you. <laughs> Luke Cage. That's what's up. Luke Cage. Marlon Waves is going to be at the uh, Improv from tomorrow through till New Year's Eve. I'm Get buying y'all some air conditioning. At MiamiImprov.com <laughs> right now. And uh, check him out, man. I'm going to definitely go to one of the shows, man. So come join me out there, all right? It's 135, the B Mommy's with a one for hip hop, RB, and the Breakfast Club. Got your tickets to check out. Tiffany Haddish coming up next. 
BSO Facts, stick around.